Welcome back to another Mobile Centrix Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to show you something that's pretty amazing. Up until recently, upgrading the memory on an iPhone has been quite complicated because the NAND has been paired to the CPU. But on the 13 and 14 series, the NAND is not, which means that you can replace it with a higher gigabyte and after simply restoring the phone through iTunes, you'll upgrade the memory. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I do it step by step going through the entire process from beginning to end so that you can see if this is something that you'd want to get into. This particular model is an iPhone 13 Pro. Let's get into the video. Here's the setup that we will be using. The first thing that we'll see when we go into the settings is that this phone has 128 gigabytes for its memory and we want to quadruple that to 512. So we will remove the motherboard from the frame, take off the protective shield and remove the protective foam from around the connectors. We'll put that in our motherboard repair fixture. And using our hot air at 300 degrees Celsius, we're going to go around and pick off the underfill from around the border. Basically, we don't want to pull up any of the components that are attached to it via the underfill. And we'll do that all around the border. Next, we'll protect the surrounding area with some copper and captain tape. We'll use our, our rework station at 380 degrees Celsius and slowly pry off the NAND until it pops free without pulling any pads. This may take 30 to 40 seconds. We'll add some flux. Take some low temperature 138 solder and apply it to all of the pads to make wicking a lot easier. Now we'll take our wick and at 360 degrees, we're gonna remove all of the solder, including the solder we just applied, all the way down to the bare pad. Now we need to remove the underfill. So at 300 degrees Celsius, we're gonna slowly scrape away the glue without scraping the actual logic board itself. And then we're going to wick and make sure that all of the pads are completely dry of solder using our solder wick and soldering iron at 360 degrees. And with some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, we'll clean up the motherboard. Now it's time to prep a new NAND. This new NAND is most likely an OEM pole that was on a 512 gigabyte phone. We're going to be using a a middle temperature solder paste, 183 degree solder paste. We'll spread that out evenly. Wipe away any of the excess solder. It'll also suck up some of the flux. And then we'll come in at a 270 degrees Celsius with our uh, rework station with kind of a mid to low airflow so that we get a nice reball without the solder running everywhere. Next, we'll give it one more flow just to make sure we center all of the solder balls. We're going to add some flux and spread it out evenly along the surface to protect all of the solder pads from oxidation so that throughout the soldering process they get a nice solid joint to the NAND. We'll orient the NAND in the proper orientation 
and make sure it's nice and aligned so that it gets to snap into place. And then we'll take our rear station at 320 degrees and slowly work it down to where it'll start to settle into the logic board. This also might take 30 to 40 seconds. And with our tweezers, we can nudge on it. So as soon as we see it snap back several times, we know that it's solid and making good contact. There we go. We'll reassemble it in the phone. Now we'll plug it into iTunes and restore it. Wait for the restore to take place. And once that's done, we can go through the setup process. And when we go into the settings, we'll see an upgrade in memory from that 128 gigabytes now to the 512 gigabytes quadrupling at storage. Pretty amazing, right? Being able to upgrade the memory on the iPhone 13 and the 14 series by simply replacing the NAND and using iTunes. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and comment below if you'd like to see me walk through a more lengthy process say on, an, on one of the iPhone 14 series. Upgrading the memory definitely upgrades the value of the phone. So you'll find that this repair adds value to the phone, making it worth more and allowing people to store more and do more things on their phone. Leave any comments or questions you have down below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.